Hello guys, in this video we will discuss about protection of objects. So there are often cases when we don't want anyone to tamper with our objects. Okay, we don't want anyone to modify any key value pair of an object. Okay, so given the flexibility that we have in our programming language, JavaScript in this case, it is very really easy to mistakenly reassign the properties or object that we are not meant to touch. Okay, and these are there are three major ways of protecting the object in JavaScript language. So let us look at them. The very first one is object dot prevent extensions. In this example, you can see we are having a person object where the name is set to Alex, age is set to forty three, the gender of this entity being male. Uh, if I say object dot prevent extensions person object, what do you expect uh, from the definition prevent extensions? What does this mean? This will prevent new property from ever being added to the object. So whatever structure of the object you are currently having, that will remain till the end. But you are not allowed to add any other key value pair to the person object. Okay. So if I if we try to add a property is programmer which is a boolean to the person object, this should fail. If we lie, uh, if we try logging the person object to the console, you will see the same structure that we had before running this prevent extensions call. Okay. So name is Alex, age is forty three, gender is male, but if programmer is not there in the structure of the object, as you can see, because we have prevented extensions from happening on the person object. Okay. So it prevents future extensions to the object. It takes an object, makes it non-extensible. That's it. What it does. Okay. So moving further, let us understand about object dot seal. But before understanding this, let's move back. And if we try uh, to check whether an object is non-extensible or not, we can simply log to the console object dot is extensible. If it returns true, you will be able to add more properties to the object. Means. You will be able to apply more key value pairs on the person object if it is extensible. So you can check that using object dot is extensible. Okay. So let us discuss the seal method now. The seal method will seal an object. Okay. So sealing means uh, it prevents new properties from being added, just like object dot prevent extensions. It marks all the existing properties as non-configurable. The values of present properties can still be changed as long as they are writable. If the properties are writable, you can change those key value pairs. Okay. Otherwise, it will get sealed normally, and it is preventing the new properties from being added on, just like prevent extensions. And the value of present properties can still be changed as long as they are writable. That's the key takeaway. And in short, it is preventing adding and removing the properties. Okay, so on the screen you can see that we have a person object, the same person object. We have sealed the person object. If we try to delete the name property that is sitting on the person object, this will not work. Okay. And if we try to modify the name property, this also doesn't work because we are not allowed to update if we're using the seal method. And if we try to log the person object to the console, it is exactly it exactly has the same structure which it had before the invocation of seal method. Okay. If we check object dot is extensible obj, uh, not obj, it's person object. Uh, my mistake, guys. So if we check for is extensible person object, this will return false. Okay. Since uh, it works exactly same as prevent extensions. So you are not able to extend or add more key value pairs to the person object. Okay. So finally, we have the object dot freeze method. Freeze provides the maximum protection any JavaScript object can have. Okay. It sees the object using object dot seal. So under the hood, it provides the maximum protection to an object. And under the hood, it invokes the seal method on the object. It seals the object. Okay. It just the freeze method behind the scenes is invoking the seal method to seal the object. It also prevent modification of any existing properties at all. It also prevent the descriptors from being changed as the object is already sealed. Okay, so you will not be able to change the object 
since it is already scaled uh, it is already sealed and you cannot change the descriptors if it is sealed so for the uh, as an example you can see we have the person object here if we seal the person object the seal method gets invoked behind the scenes this will prevent modification of any existing properties if it uh, try to delete person object dot name this is a modification it doesn't works if we try to change the name for the person object this doesn't work uh, if we check is extensible on the person object uh, it returns false because it works similar to prevent extensions you are not able to add any key value pair to your person object okay so it will return false but if we check for is sealed this will return true because now the person object is sealed and it is preventing any modification on existing property so it has sealed the object and this sealing will not allow any modification at all of any sort if we check object dot is frozen on the person object this will also return true so this offers maximum protection to any object of javascript so to conclude uh, this is the whole summary for the video uh, create read update delete object dot freeze will not allow creation of properties will allow reading will not allow update will not allow delete object dot seal will not allow creation will allow read will allow update will not allow delete and object dot prevent extensions the very first one that we discussed will not allow create will allow read will allow update and will allow delete so uh, to conclude it's very important to understand the actual power that these uh, property attributes are giving to you and in which case scenarios you can use them it so when you want to offer maximum protection to javascript objects you use the free freeze method if you uh, don't want to allow prevent uh, if you don't want to allow any modification or any extension to your javascript object you use prevent extensions they offer different level of protection to your javascript objects so so i would like to wrap up with the video in case you like the video do give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends as well so that they could learn uh, more complex topics about this and in the next video we'll discuss about object prototypes and please give it a uh, please subscribe to my channel if you are loving the content and do share it as well thanks a lot guys